trucks and trucks. Welcome back, everybody. Taking a quick look here, we do have a winter weather advisory. It is in effect for the entire Contra Valley region, and that is going until 3 o'clock this afternoon today. So it is going to be a little iffy, especially driving in the morning. I know some of those roads are getting a little slick with some of that freezing rain that's kind of dropping in, especially with the fog, and it lands on the surfaces of everything, especially with the temperature being at 26 degrees. It lands on the surface, and it will ice over. So, yes, it will make a driving a bit hazardous for this morning, so definitely want to take your time wherever you go. And then north winds coming in at about 14 miles an hour, that's not really helping a whole lot. Visibility is a little bit better than what we had yesterday, so our lowest area of visibility is actually around Brady with two miles. Most everywhere else is sitting three to four miles visibility, with the exception of Coleman up to five right now. Temperatures are sitting in the mid-20s for a majority of the region, getting closer to the upper 20s for Junction and Mason at this time, even Ozona. Around the rest of the state, though, we are seeing temperatures kind of the same for most everybody. Got teens in the panhandle, 20s, and then getting into the 30s, closer to the coastline, even into the 40s. El Paso seems to be avoiding a majority of this colder air here, sitting at the low 50s at this time. So we have plenty of this winter weather advisory that stretches from our region and kind of pushes off to the panhandle and north and northeast of Texas here. So that's going to continue to kind of play a factor into our day for the rest of today. We do have some showers that are starting to make their way into the area. And as it gets closer to the cooler temperatures, that is going to transition over to mixed precipitation. We at the rest of our day, we are going to have that mixed precipitation coming in 8 o'clock this morning for us. And then we're going to have plenty of clouds for the rest of today. Winds will also be calming down later on this afternoon going down to 5 to 10 miles per hour. Highs are expected to be mostly in the low to mid 30s as we continue getting through our day. So still a little bit lower than average. Average is about 62 for this time of year. 25 tonight for a low, and then we'll have clouds and patchy fog once again. 30 degrees expected for a high tomorrow. We'll have plenty of clouds once again, and we'll continue to see the mixed precip coming through and then a few rain showers but that's not going to help that's just going to land on everything freeze and then we're going to continue to have cloudy conditions as we get into the last day of our week heading into this upcoming weekend breaking down the seven day forecast here we will see those temperatures decreasing down to the teens for this upcoming monday and you are seeing that correct we are looking at zero degrees for an overnight low sunday into monday and two below zero from Monday overnight into